Concrete is sand, shingle and cement in correct proportions mixed with water and allowed to set. If large quantities of concrete are required, machines used to move the materials. Today, thousands of tons of sand and gravel are used in the building of houses, roads, bridges and in all forms of modern building construction. Sand and gravel are found just beneath the surface of the earth in layers which were once the beds of rivers. Some of these beds are low-lying and underwater in lakes created by the digging out of the material. The ballast, a mixture of sand and gravel, is dredged from the bottom of the lake and loaded onto a barge. It is a dumb barge, that is to say, a barge without its own motive power. The barge is lashed to a tug by two horses which are pulled tight with winches. The sturdy little diesel tug pushes the barge instead of pulling it. The barge has a buoyancy tank at each end which keeps the whole of the 60 ton load afloat. When it reaches the processing plant, which is a fixed installation some distance from the place where the material is being excavated, the floor of the barge is opened and the load deposited on the bed of the lake whence it will be pumped as a slurry, a mixture of ballast and water, into the washing and sorting plant. Some gravel pits are above the general water level and are worked dry. Here, as before, the top layer of earth called the overburden, has been removed before the ballast is excavated. The hopper directs the ballast into the trucks which are drawn by a diesel locomotive on a narrow gauge railway. When the train arrives at the processing plant, the trucks pass over a water pit.
the floor of the truck is shaped like an inverted V and when the sides are released the material drops into the pit below. Water is pumped into the pit to form a slurry. The slurry is sucked up a pipe by powerful pumps to the first separator, which is a sieve or a screen taking out the very largest stones. The minder is removing lumps of clay or wood or iron. The next stage is to separate the sand from the shingle. Sand passes through the fine mesh of this revolving cylinder and we shall come back to it later. Let us for the moment follow the stones. They are carried by conveyor belt and drop onto a series of vibrating screens placed end to end. The mesh of the first is three-eighth of an inch square. The stones which pass through are called three-eighth shingle and look like this. The mesh of the second is three quarters of an inch and here is a three quarter shingle that it lets through. The mesh of the third is an inch and a half and here are the stones which are the largest normally used in making concrete. Beneath the vibrating sieves, the three different sizes are stored in hoppers for easy loading into lorries. When a hopper is full, the excess is carried by conveyor belt and poured onto a stockpile. Let us now return to the sand. The sand, mixed with water, comes down this channel into a pit. From here it is pumped to centrifugal separators and is all the time being washed. Sharp or concreting sand comes from this separator. And fine soft sand from this one. Sand and gravel are sold by volume and not by weight, as the weight depends on how wet the sand or gravel is. The lorry itself is used as a measure. Leveling the contents of the lorry is called trimming. A level lorry full this size is 10 cubic yards. This load is on its way to be mixed with shingle and cement to make concrete for the construction of some new civil engineering wonder of our modern age.